All right, let's play some more Final Fantasy 16. So we've done all the side quests in here. It looks like it's time for us to Maybe just move on help. to the Great Wood, which I'm cool with because I really want to uh, do some more combat and see what this game is There's all about. A good girl. Hungry, are you? Mm, kind of cool. Chocobos are neat in this game. I like that they're closer to the like Final Fantasy Tactics style of like war birds. This is it, the Great Wood. So deep and vast is the Great Wood. It serves as a defensive barrier between the Crystal Belt and the Holy Empire, while its denizens uh, deter foolhardy travelers from exploring the forest's everlasting night. Oh, oops, we have to hold it down. All right, so this is in the Empire of Simbrek. Bastard blood flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. And you want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here to the Holy Capital? Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? <laughs> you know, the Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists as a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. Gorgol, yay! Puppy! Up <laughs> there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torgal. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. His Let's sword has like katana hilt. It's weird. Fanning embers. Orgle is joined the party and we'll fight alongside Clive. Use uh, the D-pad to toggle between item shortcuts and peck commands. Oh, neat. He can cast heal. He can do a launcher and he can regularly attack. Hmm. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. <laughs> How reassuring. You're welcome for that and the shortcut. Ralph Innocent's voice is just so great. <laughs> it's It's got such a gravelly, interesting quality. He's excellent in uh, in all of the movies I have seen him in. Friendly, like Worgen, but these ones have tails. Practice the uh, uh, teleport chain as well. It's over. Yeah. Oh, hey, we gotta level up. Nice. Was this the last one? We still have a way to go. Yeah, I guess it was. All right, we got some hides. All right, so it looks like we'll just like automatically pick up crafting materials in battles. So that's pretty this cool. Way, so cinematic. What's this thing? What 
What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. Exposition. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. <laughs> he looks genuinely concerned. Let's try and stay out of its path. I really like his armor. I know I mentioned it, but it just it's, it seems very practical. Just straightforward, not very flashy. Its biggest flash is just this this little side cape right there. Otherwise, just like completely plain fantasy armor. I really like that. I really hate overcomplicated fantasy armor. Like regular armor looks cool enough as is. You don't need to like animeify it to make it look cool. Remember when I said the deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs in these parts are much better. And you only think to mention this now. That's enough. All right, we get a little bit of gill as well each time. Not bad. I was looking around to make sure there aren't any little side paths or other enemies that I could like attack and fight. Doesn't really seem like it. All right, neat. Interesting. It's really Some beautiful. Some uh, the time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. Huh. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Good dialogue. Goddamn. <laughs> uh, that's a really beautiful uh, the skyscape right there. A little vista. Mind but the... Uh, so the Fallen built upward probably what in like a lattice network is that what this is they have like ceramic stylings and stuff did they build some kind of mega structure that collapsed it's kind of cool i mean i doubt they're building like a dyson sphere or anything but very interesting like concept oh, i thought he was like waiting to talk to me <laughs> Oh, there was there was a cutscene trigger. Okay. Oh, why is it? I can see that. Doesn't have to be a friend of yours, does it? Oh, oops! I ran into that. I meant to dodge. the precision evade magic chain right there. Ah, got hit. My wounds, boy! 
Ah, oh, dang. There's a good one. Ah! We did it. Nice. Well, we got what looks like a pretty high amount of ability points. Dragon Talon. Upon close inspection of a lesser dragon's foot, one may observe that the middle talon is considerably longer than the rest. This extended appendage is used to puncture the fleshy parts of the creature's prey, causing severe blood loss and weakening them for the kill. There is one thing for which the fauna of the Valisthea do not want. It is more dagger-sharp fangs to line their slavering maws. And so, those Valisthians fortunate enough not to succumb to said fangs have conceived ingenious ways of fashioning them into myriad articles of virtu, hanging from cutlery to bijouterie. Very cool. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. Uh, one of the things I wanted to look at was my abilities. Here we go. Let's look at these. All right, so we have 515. Can I just get all of these? <laughs> I can't, okay. We, uh, we mastered that, which was like the most important. Potency, kick, oh, taunt plus touchpad, interesting, oh yeah, we'll definitely get that, R1 and R2 to, oh, so we have a stinger, okay, interesting, R1, R2 in the air to slice down, okay, Hold R1 to imbue Clive's Blade with fire. That's how to taunt. We did want this, Swift Recovery. I thought I already grabbed that. I guess I didn't. Uh, stomp. This is a double jump, basically. And then charged magic. Hold R2 to increase. Okay, yeah, that's fine. This is going to be the most important one to master. I probably should have just mastered it then, but that's fine. Yeah. What are these? Just different uh, skills, I guess. Different magic. Kind of interesting. Huh. Okay. <laughs> His animations, his little ambling animation over there was genuinely kind of funny. Alright. Let's move forward. Oh, it was a wall run, that's why. <laughs> It appears we won't be going this way. Or steel silk. I'll admit I haven't here. counted on that. Thanks, Torgo. Why is it, boy? Why trust your, in your own animal instinct when you now have an actual animal at your side? If you're lost, hold down L3 and Torgo will point you in the right direction. Oh, how fun. Magicked ash. I wonder what we use that for. These woods. Thank you, Togo. Well, they look back to at me. I'm for once, it's not my fault. Stay down. There we 
go. Show me the way, Torgal. I knew that was over there. I just wanted to make the prompt go away. So yeah, combat's getting a little bit more more fancy now that I have the access to those abilities. I want to try to use the stomp ability. to dodge that late. Okay. Yeah, I dodged it way too early. Again. A little help. that hit me oh use r1 just as an opponent attacks to parry the strike oh yes please oh we can absolutely do this No one knows. Not this time. Oh, oh no way. Not if we kill him first. I think I can parry that. My wound. 
Wounds, boy. What? I dodged. Oh no. Oh boy. This is bad. Not this time. There we go. I died for the first time. Yikes. All right. We got our first death. It's probably my fault for, for trying to play like a goon, but we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. All right. I was really hoping to make it through this game without dying once. Someone's got the up. Where he stops, no one knows. Oh, no. I doubt he'll be right again. What if we kill him? First. A little help. That'll help. It doesn't, it just doesn't seem like I can parry that. I, let's try to get some parries down. That was a little early. timing. Yeah, it's not, uh, huh. It's not when the attack is going to hit, it's before the attack hits. That's really strange. I don't know if I'm ever going to get into that. Yeah, because I just, I hit it exactly. There we go. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right, let's retry that. I'm not, I'm not even going to go for parries uh, in this battle. I don't think it's a good idea. We'll have to test it on other enemies uh, just to get a better idea. Because learning how to parry on a big monster is kind of... One of dumb, but aye, aye. someone's got the up. Where he stops, no one knows. Not this time. I doubt he'll do that again. Not if we kill him first. What? Maybe if I played in performance mode, it would make it a little bit easier, but I've heard performance mode is a little bit spotty in this game. There we go. 
What? I got robbed. You didn't give it to me. Yep, doesn't work. What? So, died twice, that's a shame. I mean, the second time was on purpose, but still, I was not very good. We did not do a very good job there. Gnarled Scale 2. Covered in countless scars, these scales tell a tale of supremacy and survival, albeit one now ended. We're right. To most, this nondescript lump of rough-hewn stone is but a nuisance upon which to stub one's toe. Oh, we already read that one. Dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Rome, who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. Well, what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Huh? Interesting. All right, we got some more points. Let's go ahead and master the stomp. Go off the air to a nearby enemy, increasing jump height and duration. I can see some cool like Devil May Cry stuff going on with that. Uh, dang, I really 
<laughs> I'm, I'm kind of irritated about this. I would have liked to, to get the cool parries. I'll have to actually practice it in order to ensure uh, that I can maximize my ability points. Clive, what exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother and cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. Forest dark enough, was it? <laughs> Stop being such an edgelord, Clive. Unlocked, uh, we've unlocked Sid's lightning power, so he must be Ramu's dominant, which is what I thought before, but got a cool juggle there. Stay down. Yeah, you accumulate ability points pretty quickly in this game. Which is nice. In no time. Right. Alright, so we got we got about 25 points per battle, it seems, around there. So we should be able to uh, actually master pretty much everything uh, relatively quickly, I think. I'm not too worried about actually getting ability points for every single ability now. Oop, wolves. Another 50 or so points, that's not too bad. Doing all right job there. Meteorite, all right, neat. We're doing okay on health. How many do I have? A hundred. Is there anything here I can buy? 
No, our next will be probably mastering precision dodge just to do it. Uh, can I master parrying? Is there a parry here? Burning blade, down thrust, lunge. Yeah, we'll just go one at a time, I guess. Get the biggest ones first. We'll have to use the Arate Stone in order to uh, get parry timing down a little bit better. I'm sure it's there. What? The Royal Scout. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him. Hmm. Is that Benedicta? Yep, sure is. And? They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, I, I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? So wait, she's with Sombrek? I thought she was with Walud. It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. <laughs> but were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? <laughs> Or maybe these are Relude Imperials? Ah. So yeah, she must be a dominant, but of who? Woman. Maybe Garuda? To Harman, commander of Walud's elite intelligences. If we can capture her. You! Weapons on the ground, Imperials! <laughs> he turns away so you can't see the sword clip out of the <laughs> well, at least they're not giant lizards. Put our lady on the wind. Okay. I want to try to counter one of them. Or parry one of them. Nope. Cinematic clash when the screen flashes orange like this during a pivotal moment in battle, repeatedly tap R1. Okay. There we go. Behind you. Oh. Oh, I'm just grabbing. 
grabbing the sword with my gauntlet. Brutal. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Oh, he has interesting skills. My time is off. <laughs> Oops, I thought I dodged it. No. Oh, right. Oh, he's using Final Fantasy XIV uh, <laughs> techniques. That's kind of cool. Scene choreography. <laughs> really excellent stuff. Even if it's just in a QTE, it's like, it's kind of cool. Badge of Might, Meteorite, Steel Silk. So, awarded to soldiers for unparalleled displays of courage on the field of battle, the feeling of accomplishment it enkindles in the recipient's heart is thought to enhance future performance. Nice. Gives us a little attack boost. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria. And one blessed by the phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder, does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new hmm. one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. 
which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, then they'll be sorely disappointed. <laughs> I like that Sid just immediately starts looting them. Like, may as well, right? <laughs> Stage replay in arcade mode. Stage replay in arcade mode are now available in the Hideaway's Arate Stone. Enter the virtual battlescape for details on each of the new options. Oh, interesting. So we can replay levels. So that, I mean, I guess that assumes that we can't really come back to certain... I guess it's just a way for us to do boss rush. That's sick. And then arcade mode, I assume, is just like the battle arena in Final Fantasy VII Remake? That's kind of cool.